when the narcissist won't stop obsessing over you. When they're constantly talking and worrying about you, it's because the thought of you preoccupies and fills their minds continually and to a troubling extent. They keep thinking about you and they find it difficult to think about anything else. They will attach themselves to you and they will try to get you to attach to them. When you realize what they're trying to do, you may try to avoid them, but they cannot deal with rejection. It causes a narcissistic injury. It makes them chase after you even more. They can't accept that you don't want to deal with them. So they start talking about you to other people. They try to assassinate your character. They start smear campaigns. Because if you're not going to be with them, they don't want you to be with anyone at all. They can't deal with the thought of you living your life without them. Their excuse for their behavior is usually that they're meant to be the victim. As though you did something to them. And that is why they're doing what they're doing. But it never makes sense. It never justifies their behavior. It doesn't make any logical sense for them to behave in that way. They're just very emotional. They're getting in their feelings because you don't want anything to do with them. You've observed some of their behaviors and something doesn't seem right, right about them. So now you don't want to be involved with them anymore. You try to exit the situation. You try to get yourself out of harm's way. But the problem with a lot of these narcissists is that they are establishing relationships in their minds without your knowledge and awareness, without your consensual agreement. In their minds, you are together. This is a part of their disorder. Their thoughts and emotions are so impaired that they have lost contact with the external reality. They cannot give up their way of thinking and feeling about you because of these ideas that they have created in their own minds which you are not participating with. If you try to leave or go no contact with them, it will cause a narcissistic injury. They will feel like you have abandoned them. Because they have these fantasies in their minds of who they think you are and what they think you're going to be to them. They don't want to accept that you're not a willing participant. You're not choosing to be involved with them. If it does ever come to their attention, they will try to cause disturbance and disruption. They will try to cause drama and chaos. So even though you don't want anything to do with them, they're after you now. They're hunting you down. 
they will make it seem like you were more involved than you actually were. As though you had planned to spend the rest of your lives together. They're playing this out in their minds. So when you try to move on, you end up with a stalker. You have this person who is obsessed with you. This person who can't let things go because they think it's more than what it actually is because of these ideas that they've been entertaining in their minds. They're delusional. They cannot escape their own fantasy that they have created. Once you decide to remove yourself from the situation, they're not having it. They're still coming after you. They're on your social media. While they're making false statements about you and trying to damage your reputation. This is the crazy part about it. Because if you don't like something, whether it's a food or a TV show, you're not going to keep going back to it if you're a normal, functional person. But people who are mentally, psychologically or intellectually deficient will still return to the things they say are not good for them, to the things they say are not right. This is one of the first things to look for in most disorders. When a person keeps returning to something they say they don't like, when they keep returning to something that is no good for them, there's something wrong with them. Because a normal functional person is not going to entertain something that they don't like. They're not going to entertain something that they don't agree with. But these types of people will because they have an obsession. They can't just move on. They have to constantly occupy the, your interest or attention. They have to try to involve you in something. They have to establish contact or connection with you. Because they are mentally deteriorating due to their inability to control you or be an influence in your life. You cannot be friendly with a narcissist. They expect the situation to play out in the way that they see it in their minds. They want everything to be their way. So you have to completely detach from them. You cannot remain friends. Because they're going to see it as though you made an agreement or promised to do something for them. Due to the fantasies that they made up in their minds. So they're not just going to settle for a piece of the pie. That's not going to be good enough for them. Because you've already caused a narcissistic injury by rejecting them. So even when you think you've got rid of them. They're still creeping around somewhere. They're staying around secretly, waiting to appear. They're spying on you. They cannot stop themselves.
there's something causing them emotional distress as a result of arousing feelings or memories associated with a particular traumatic experience. So now they feel the need to always check in on what you're doing because they always feel like they may be missing out on something. When it becomes more difficult for them to maintain control over you, that is when they will act out even more. They're very emotional, so they're not thinking logically. They're not thinking about what is right or not right to go against. They're just acting on their feelings. Narcissists are very sick people, so they will obsess over you. They will stalk and harass you. Just be aware of it. Protect yourself. Because they don't have lives of their own. They have nothing else to do. There's nothing that's more significantly important in their lives. There's no meaning or purpose to their existence. So they place significance and importance on things that are irrelevant. Things that don't even matter in the grand scheme of things. They turn molehills into mountains. They're making silent agreements in their minds. about things that you are unaware of, things that you did not agree to, and yet they expect you to fulfill the, these agreements that you have no knowledge or awareness of. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor, Dakota, UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.